With the 109th pick in the 2024 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Brandon Dorers, defensive end, Oregon. Let's go! And it's the Dorless. Brandon Dorless out of Oregon. You know, I've been talking him up for the last two seasons. Let's turn our attention to Brandon Dorless. Wide arsenal hand movements to rip, the stack, the shed, the chop, swim. And like I said, that shoulder dip, man. Every time I see the shoulder dip, it, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing to watch me stick three, two, nine doing that. I call them like cat-like movements. Maybe some teams have him uh, as a tweener. Is he an edge? Is he an inside guy? But for me, man, this got to get after the quarterback, a big disruptor in the run and the pass game. And the short area quickness, man, that's what stands out to me. That's how quick he is at his size and how he can beat offensive linemen. There will be more conversation around Brandon Dorsey moving forward. And I'm like, I got to move him up, man. This is my guy. I'm going to stand on it, man. Another player that we're going to be substantially higher on than the consensus, Brandon Dorless. Lo love Dorless. I, not, not coming off of that one. L love Dorless. And you talk about versatility, Drew, as far as Darius Robertson is concerned. Dorless possesses that as well. Weighed in a, a, a lot lower than we had anticipated at the Senior Bowl, but he indicated that he was going through a cut. Um, so I expect him to have both back up. I think he'll be closer to 280 at the Combine. So we'll keep an eye on that. And I thought that Oregon, you know, some people talk about the production, you know, it wasn't really there. But I just think that at the next level, I want to see him at three tech. I want to see him predominantly there. I know he can do it all. He can mm -hmm. play out on the edge at a seven. He can play mm -hmm. the five. He can play, he can play all along that defensive line. But I want to see them unleash him as a three tech, one gap, get after the quarterback. He is throwing guys out the club. And it, it's kind of, it's kind of surprising that you haven't heard more, I think he's in the past two, two and a half weeks or so, I think the start to pick up on him, but it's, 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 it's crazy how people weren't talking about him before because he he was doing some damage on that defensive line. He was going against some guys um, consistently when you talk about um, Washington and Rosengarten, you talk about uh, was it Arizona, Jordan Morgan, and you talk about Oregon State, Squaga. Like, you, you can see those matchups and uh, he, he was doing his job. He was holding his own. He was beating guys coming off the edge. You know, obviously he has that ability to play inside as well. Um, good hands, and we talked about in terms of his ability to play low to the ground, as big and as strong as he is, um, that leverage. He understands, you know, what it is that he's supposed to be doing. So just, I kind of I kind of debated, to, you know, do I want to see him inside at three technique or do I, do I want to see him outside, you know? And I think, I think it might have been Mr. C. Prasky. It may have been you that had stated that, um, you want to see him maybe get that, that Michael Bennett treatment, right? Depending on the down and the distance, how you treat him, whether he's playing inside or outside. But he had made reference to it, maybe. Um, but maybe maybe that's how how you would deploy him to get the most out of him. Hey, Brandon. Nice to meet you. How you doing? Juice. Yes, sir. Yes, just a couple questions. The first question I wanted to ask you was, what, what was your playing weight at Oregon this year? Uh, I was around 285. Okay. Yeah, 285. 288 was the heaviest. Gotcha. 285 was the lightest. And you drop some weight here coming in to, to Mobile. Any any particular reason? Uh, so right now I'm in the process of cutting my cutting weight, cutting yeah, all yeah. my fat down. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a bulk. I see what you're saying. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Gotcha. So everybody's always against it. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, yeah. <laughs> it's a process of things right now. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. In preparation, yeah. the pre-draft process. Got gotcha. you, got gotcha. you. One of the things that, that I love about your game is the versatility, yeah. right? Three, four, I, five, whatever the case may be, you, you do it. Yeah. Is there any particular alignment that you you really enjoy? You feel like you can get after it? Honestly. I'll be lying if I say I, I love playing. I love playing it all. You know, but having that feeling to beat every type of O line, you know, gotcha. it's different. You know, you gotta have a different approach of tackles, guards, and right, center. right. So you know, knowing how to do all that, I feel like I elevated my game in a big time. So I'm glad my coach allowed me to right. have, have that freedom to do yeah. that and work everything I wanted to. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Anything in particular you feel like you need to work on? Uh, you know, just proving to people that I'm not just a pass rusher. Like everybody gets in that mindset. Like, right. He loves to get sacked. Too, you know, right. I get nasty down there. What's on the board? Ballers. Doorless. 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 There. That's, that's that's a fit for the boys. Yeah, that's a fit for them. Man. I like doorless. You want to grab my seventy? Yeah. Let's grab my seventy. Let's lock that in. This is this is the conundrum. The two best players on the board is probably Kitchens and Adrian Cooper, right? All right. But then we talking about doorless and a receiver. We can't get them all. We, we got to make a decision. Well, I think doorless, I think you got to grab doorless. I don't think there's a discussion. Okay. I think he's I'm a good fit. 
think he's a lock in. I think that's a lock in at seventy, right? So now it's it's, it's why 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 not at sixty eight? Because I think he'll be there at seventy. But but you think you're telling me that's the player that you 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 absolutely got to get here? He, he's locked in. I know. I'm saying he's locked in at seventy because I know I can get him at seventy. I'm not. I ain't, I ain't nervous. You don't. You don't think worried, worried about sixty nine. You not worried about the Chargers? No, bro. I'm not scared, bro. All right. Cool. <laughs> Tough guy, bro. All right. Tough guy. I'm just saying. Bro, 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 if you scared, bro, if you say you scared, bro, it's okay. I'm a, I'm a doorless guy, bro. Look, look, look no, at Jake, no, no. dog. Look at Jake, man, with the bad juju. Jake with the bad juju. So then. He is the kid. That's what they, 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 they just ignore. They just ignoring. No, not they. That's, that's not they. That's Drew, bro. I would get endorsed here. And then get kisses. <laughs> So here we are in the third round. As, as Drew mentioned, we have three picks. I was thinking linebacker. That's where I was kind of going with it. Oh, doorless. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a good fit for this I, team. I, I, bro, I, I, Peyton I'm Wilson, hard pressed to certainly. Pass up on doorless, bro. Like I know Peyton Pey Wilson is, a, is a, what you like, but doorless is what a top what thirty player for us. Peyton Wilson is not. Man. It, it'd be hard it's to true. pass up on doorless just because I know we need a, a second level linebacker, um, but. Uh, talent, bro. I'm, I'm going talent over need, and, and it is it is a need also. Imagine we have Darius Robinson, Doralis, Ojalari, all, all coming after the quarterback at the same time, man. Hell, if 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 we wanna if we wanna secure the Doralis, let's trade up, bro. If you wanna secure the Doralis, let's Move let's up. go get let's go get Washington's pick right now. You wanna do it, Drew? I'm it. down with that. I'm down with that. Let's I, do, I can do it. it. I don't want to gamble, bro. A, a, a player like Dorian, you know how we <laughs> I'm not trying to gamble. You know what I'm saying? Hand technician, man. This guy's a big guy playing like a small guy. He's just, man, the relentlessness, the motor. I don't want to gamble, bro. I, I, I want to secure him. Come away with both trigger. players. Pull a trigger, bro. Straight up. Make it happen. Make it happen, GM. Make it happen. Should, shouldn't take much, right? It's done, bro. A seventh round pick got it, bro. Oh, All see? Right. Easy. All right, all that consternation, but I'm glad we talked it through. I'm glad. I'm glad we talked it through. We made the case for both players, and we're going to make sure that we acquire both players. All right. Not now we GM it. Not now. Mm -hmm. Now we GM it. There we go. This is Isaac Ellis, Brandon Dorless, Mason Smith, Dwayne Carter. Brandon Dorless for me, bro. Yeah, it, it's usually the Dorless, bro. Drew. I'm good with Dolis. Good with Dolis. That's a solid, that's a solid pick. It's just strong for them boys. He's a top 30 player for us. So Brandon Dolis is a pick, and I think he's the final Infinity Stone for this Cleveland Browns team. Maybe a second level defender, but certainly uh, I think Brandon Dolis solidifies a, an impressive defense. Uh, we're going to do a seven round mock draft here for Headley's Atlanta Falcons. Brandon Dorless still out here. Yeah, man. You know, that, that's the guy I'm looking at right now. I, I, Brandon Dorless, man. Let, let's get him to the front seven for Atlanta. 78th ranked player. We got pick 79. Yeah, I, I don't want to risk it. Uh, I got the Grady Jarrett. A little comp right there. Mm -hmm. uh, a guy that's very low to the ground. Get after the quarterback. He's a rare D tackle that has good reps at the edge. You know, even though I want to see him at three tech. Yeah, great right. reps at the edge. Also, right. quickness and burst. Uh, bend. You know, a, a guy at 6'3", 290 that can bend like doorless, put him at three tech, make him penetrate all day. And I think he could be one of those guys where it's like some guys went in front of him, but he's a first round talent that's going to be very productive at the next level. If you can, if you can leverage doorless's skill set in that fashion, you, you got a hell of a player, right? As Headley mentioned, we have him as a, a first rounder as far as, you know, being within the top 32 prospects in the class. And I think Drew, the reason why there's been a, a very slow burn as it relates to Doorless, people haven't necessarily been as bullish on him, is because I think they view him as, they were viewing him as an edge, like purely as an edge. There, there's been a lot of misnomers in terms of how these defensive linemen are going to be deployed. And saying that, I was thinking to myself, Darius Robinson's not in your top 15 in terms of interior defensive linemen. He, he's actually in your edge group. but. He, he played most of his career at the interior defensive line. So uh, the way people view these players and where they, they slot them in. Now, now, we agree that he can do it all up front. But um, the, the way they're slotted, I think that's impacted the way they view Doyle. Doyle is not 
you know, as as bendy as he is for his his size, he's not your your prototypical stand up edge rusher. Even though you've seen him at the seven standing up, coming off the edge, you know what I'm saying. So I think that affects people. And of course, in a lot of the simulators, he's he's listed as an edge, whereas we believe he he makes his hay as a three technique. You know, if you really want to see the best of what Brandon Doyle has to offer, let him beat up those guards and centers inside. Let, let him let him get upfield one gap and attack for sure. Excited for that particular landing spot, but none more so. And I'm sure, I am sure Headley will be thrilled, thrilled with this next selection. So I'm, I'm going I'm to let it marinate for just a second here as I transition from the Vikings over to the Falcons. But um, big time get, big, big time get in my mind here. And it's interesting. It's interesting. I mean, you know, there, there's been a lot of conversation around the decision of Atlanta to go with Michael Penix Jr. after obviously paying Kirk Cousins large, large sums of money. Uh, but the next two selections were Rook Ahorohoro and Braylon Trice. Uh, Braylon Trice um, among the best in in class in terms of affecting the passer. Ahorohoro is is probably. I, I thought it was a little early for him. In, in fact, in fact, the player that they're taking here with this next selection is is a guy that I would have taken thirty um, fifth overall. But to get them both, to get them both, they they got to be ecstatic, man. They they got to be ecstatic about this. It's Brandon Doyless, man. You know, CPGM favorite Brandon Doyle's man. I, I don't know. I don't know if Headley's watching the draft right now because he's at the field right now or in the gym. I'm, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, man. Big time get. Big, big time get here for the Falcons. They got to be excited about that one on top of a horror horror and Braylon Trice. So, yeah, man. I mentioned Brandon Doyle's. I'm I'm I, I'm going to I'm going to give that some space to breathe. I'm going to give that some space to breathe. I'm sure um, Headley's going to want to wax on Brandon Doyle. This is a guy that he actually identified a couple seasons ago and, and we just fell in love with him at CPGM. And then you know how we all feel about Brandon Doyle. I thought he was, he's the most underrated interior guy. Uh, he could play some edge, he could bend. Yeah, he's still in the draft. the draft, still in the draft yeah. man, in the fourth round. Uh, he's going to make an, an immediate impact. He, he might make a more of an impact than Rook uh, initially on his Falcons defense and you just add to this front seven. I was, I was all prepared to talk about Ray Davis to the Buffalo Bills. I, I think he's a great compliment the James Cooks, but I got to go with the Dorless, obviously. Obviously, you know, this is a, a top 35 player, top 30 player for us. He slides all the way into the fourth round to the Atlanta Falcons. I think if Hedley mentioned it, had Atlanta gone with him instead of Rupa Horo in the second round, he wouldn't have batted an eyelash, right? And, and I think Dorless is a better player. I think Dorless is a better player. He offers more pass rush upside, uh, more position flexibility, that he, he's being knocked as a bit of a tweener. He's being knocked as a bit of a tweener, but I, I just think that the, the skills are going to translate nicely at the next level. I, I believe in terms of his weight, he's going to get that settled. He played close to 290 last year. He was about between 285 and 290. Um, I, I'm, I, I, think, I think the NFL overthought this one. I, I really do think they overthought this one. I thought at worst, worst case scenario, he would go in the third round. So to my surprise, he slides into the fourth round. And Atlanta's the beneficiary. Atlanta's absolutely the beneficiary. Whether it be run or pass, Brandon Dorless can be a difference maker. And, and, and like I said, I think I think he's also scratching the surface. Despite what you see, despite the, the really impressive flashes and at times dominance. Dominance. And it's not for lack of, of uh, drive or want to or anything like that. I think he's just polishing up. I think he's just still refining his skills and learning his craft. But... When he puts it all together, when, when he puts it all together, I think he's going to be a big time difference maker. I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to the second contract. What what he what he earns in terms of a second contract, I think he's going to become a quick fan favorite here in Atlanta. So Brandon Doyless is the best pick in the fourth round, uh, according to Juice, right? And of course, I believe Headley would agree with it as well. He just was trying to be, you know, objective, I mean, diplomatic different. here, a little different, a little different. I can appreciate that.